So we start this episode somewhere in the island of Cotabalon. Vernice, tell us about Tala's story. Tala is a young warrior in training from a hidden village protected by Baleta trees. The reason for the village being hidden is because the people are actually the protectors of a magical artifact. Eventually, a group of raiders found the village and um, though the protectors were able to put up a fight, the raiders lost some of their men, the protectors still were overpowered. The raiders got the artifact and thought that they slaughtered everyone, but discovered that one of the servants named Helena is hiding with the young Tala. One of the raider lieutenants named Yanni decided to keep both of them as slaves. We start this actual story a few, maybe a few, or years later. Tala is now a bit older, uh, still lives as a helper to Helena, who is now a servant to one of the raiders. Most primarily still to Yanni, who has kind of been, you know, still still like a raider kind of hostage thing, but it's also not like the the worst guy. But at the very least, they they're not treated like shit, and they kind of earned some sort of I wouldn't say loyalty, <laughs> Stockholm syndrome, um, but <laughs> but you know, <laughs> uh, Vernice uh, described to us at this point in her life where she would be in human years, uh, equivalent to twelve years old ish, looking. Yeah, yeah. Can you describe what she looks like at this point? She looks very um, dreary. Tala at this point really doesn't have much uh, because, you know, they are being, you know, under the, not protection, but under the supervision of Yanni. Uh, Tala still has platinum hair that she grew up with and it's normally kept tidy so that it doesn't get in her way. But yeah, she's very young looking, even though <laughs> she's in human years, like she's 12. And um, essentially, the village or the settlement that, that she's been staying in is very, very much a raider settlement, right? Where it's like, you, it's a small settlement, you raid the village, you're in there for food, for supplies, for everything. You just basically raid for everything. Um, and it's like, Tala would have started as this nice, you know, the typical nice elven or whatever girl that she is, but now has become like essentially punk rock kinda, you know, with a with a raid and shit like that attitude. And um, so the way things are in this place is like, yeah, you're you, again, you're you're servants and everything, but it's also like if they need more raiders, they're gonna train the youth for that and stuff like that. So there are events where people uh, check if the youth is ready for things like this so ready to participate in raids there are rituals where not rituals there are test raids if you will for the youth to prove that they're worthy of being proper raiders so it's like these are bad people they are raiders but within themselves they don't know that this is the culture they grew up with well, Tala kind of knows that there's servants here, so he's she's not properly into all this. But she's also this is the culture she grew grew up with, versus Helena, who let's say knows better, right? So we start this day with the typical. It's the day where everyone goes out, or the youth goes out to prove that they can join the raids. Tala, you wake up. You've been looking forward to this because you are. Again, you're actually kind of into this these things now. But also know that you maybe want to escape. You don't know. Mm. So what do you do today? Uh, I would say to Helena, uh, today's the day, isn't it? <sighs> like I said, young Tala, you don't have to do this. I know you, you're excited, but this is this is not you. You can you can be better, but but also I don't make your choices for you. So if this is indeed what you want, 
uh, the thing happens noon time uh, at the center of the settlement. It's up to you. I mean, Milena, I don't really have a choice, now, do I? It, this is it. It's just the two of us. You know, there's no one else. You can stay here. We can. You can't protect me forever. But we don't. You can stay here. We can serve them. We get fed anyway. We don't. You don't need to put yourself in danger. And to put it, others in danger. I know that's the culture here. That's how we live. But it's how we live now. But. You don't have to. But it's your choice. Tala walks out, you know, the room. What's outside? Outside is like a small, you know, your small settlement where it's like, uh, it, the, the most similar thing is, ha, have you seen the, the, the settlement they built in Troy before, like outside of ah. Troy, where it's like, you know huts and stuff like that but it's kind of a or kind of organized but not so much but like it's made to be lifted and moved but it's also not like a tent that you can just and you're gone mm. kind of like that different huts and then there is like a center of town that's that's there's essentially a clearing that's reserved for things and stuff like that yep so you you serve breakfast um in your like small whatever you guys sleep in obviously not the main thing because you are servants um Yanni eventually comes in, uh, sees you. He, on the other hand, is the encouraging type. Wants you to be the, you know, raiders and stuff. So, um, goes to you. Oh, today's the day. Are you ready? I guess I'm as ready as I'll ever be. So, Helena did give me a talking. Don't. Don't mind her. This is who we are. Or at, at least, but at least don't get yourself killed. Yes? I mean, I could have died years ago, but apparently I'm still here. So. That is true. Well, If you have your gear ready, uh, we should go. Okay, I'll I'll just get my stuff then. All right, and and you walk out to town, and from afar, uh, immediately you see the other kids in town. Um, everyone, go. So, uh, Yan is like. Um, very messy long hair uh, she's very unkept her arms kind of look scrawny but uh, when you see her built like underneath her sh she's wearing a very tattered shirt but it kind of looks like there's something heavy underneath uh, strapped on her back is a crossbow and she's just like uh, counting the arrows that she has left you see a small figure about three foot and one or three foot two ish uh white and black but patchy patchy long hair about the chin then he's wearing this uh goggles that are like bright red oh wait no bright orange in the, as the lens and it's made of metal and scarf in the the face and he's wearing a poorly put together leather armor with a lot of of trinkets like sewn in uh placed whatever it's everything's dangling and a lot of pouches bags along the sides he's carrying a a bow he's using it as a uh like you know how how kids use the stick to play with the like dirt and, and stuff so he's like using that yeah, and, and he has a, a, a little bit of a, a hunched uh, posture kind of thing. His name is uh, Tukul. And you do, uh, everyone, you do know each other's names because this is like, uh, you know. So my character is a, a young human boy, say about 14, 
like dark skin because he spends all all day out in the sun, uh, long hair tied to a tied to a neat, neatly tied man bun. He's got some. He's proud of his three whiskers of a beard. He's trying to grow <laughs> facial hair, but it's not quite there yet. There are three poking down his chin. Every chance he gets, he likes to spend his time in water. So on this day, he's on his way back from the beach, probably. Coming back from the beach, all he has is this wooden plank that kind of works like a shield, but he uses it to bodyboard. He's got all he got is his open vest, sleeveless, and pants, barefoot. Um, his carabao hide armor, reinforced with a uh, carabao horn, is waiting for him at home. So he's on his way. And when he gets there, he puts it on. He will put it on and uh, get ready to join the other kids. Um, his name is Alon. You see a six foot five tall dragon looking individual very white skin but with speckles of black um, scales he he if you look at his face he also has extremely red eyes right now he is just hunched over sharpening his sharpening his axe and just not paying anyone any mind his name is Tizo by the way and as you look around, the this is the settlement that you're familiar with. But for the, the for everyone else's benefit, again, it's wooden. It's essentially it looks like a beach in that it's just sand with houses. It's just dry, like like the dry parts of the beach, not the wet parts of the beach. Like like sand, like a desert, like dwellings in the desert. But instead of just tents, it's wood structures, and it's it's not like soft sand. It's like there's hard pack sand. Kind of like, oh, the, I think it's easier to describe it as the Tuscans, right? Tuscan. Oh, okay. the sand okay. people. Sand people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so, kind so, of the, so the we, kind of like the yeah. The we walk Tuscan in a straight line. Raider. <laughs> <laughs> so we all walk in a straight line, so they don't know our actual numbers. <laughs> nice. So like, there's no shade whatsoever, right? Tents. 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 <laughs> No trees? No trees. No trees. Like, you probably get water from plants that are somehow under the sand and you crack them for... Oh, like the (laughs) (laughs) tuskers. Or we can drink cactus juice. Yeah, there's probably cactus juice. (laughs) Avatar. And the reason this, this, um, this, these raiders stay here is because it's far from civilization, right? Because you raid and you expect that the law or people are after you it's like just raider culture in general all right so as you get to there uh, get to the place where everyone's gathered around in a circle for for everyone's essential proving grounds you see the you, you see essentially the tribe chief if you will it's not really a tribe but like the the chief as you will just quietly watching everyone and then there's also this person just Gather up, everyone! It's time for the show! And like everyone, like I assume everyone, you know, gets there. Yeah. And as you're ready, you're taken to this place where it's like, kind of think American Gladiator slash Ninja Warrior slash series training ground. Where it's like ropes to climb, um, the, the, the thing you punch where it has arms or post training ground if you're <laughs> that kind of but like wooden obstacles and etc 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 it's probably like not even a while like it's like a, a minute and a half two minutes to complete but it's it's grueling um all sorts of things so it's so it's a climb first um like a t- kind of type road kind of walk and then something with, with moving obstacles hitting you and then some and and then like things where you have to jump and also something where you have to it's kind of the kind of the moving rings where you kind of the, like a trapeze thing or something like that before you get to a place where there's just a ramp where you climb <laughs> <laughs> seems so similar it's not 
It oh, seems very <laughs> familiar. Yeah. It's familiar to you guys. So, you're expected to just do it. Like one at a time. I'm kind of behind everyone. And I kind of kick the hole out in front. <laughs> <laughs> so, and as you are pushed forward, everyone takes a look at you and then like, Our first participant! Oh my god. Oh, make some noise! <laughs> as I kick him forward, I cast guidance on him. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so guidance for half of the thing. <laughs> I'm still stretching. Why'd you kick me? I need to limber up. I don't know. Just, I believe in you, man. <laughs> <laughs> today, today we get to do what the grown ups do. Go yeah, for yeah, it, bro. Yeah, yeah. It is exciting. Mm. Who wants to go first? Oh, I think I, he just volunteered, man. They're, they're yeah, waiting man. for you to go now. I, he kicked me. I did not. All right, so uh, Tuku gets r- ready in everything. Uh, he goes off like with like how how sprinters uh, sprinter stance. Like you say, bolt it. Uh, but before that, he, uh, a little thing that Tuku does is he removes his flip flops first and <laughs> carefully set it aside. <laughs> I'll come back for you, okay? This is and, like when you bas- play basketball outside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you put away your chinelos before you start. Yeah, so he's the barefoot s- now. Solar boys. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you see his his feet start to, to vibrate even like faster than normal. I cast Long Strider on myself. Oh. And I nice. just nice. bolt right at it. I'll, I'll say with your with your long strider and generally just being you know we'll say not just fast but like striding up up higher as well um hmm. i i would let make no room for the for the climb for the the then it's the tightrope thing can i use my bow and use it like uh <laughs> sure I'll, I'll let you do that but i'm super light so i don't know how that will work well, well that's Creative enough that we won't let you roll. You you get through Woo! that. Cool. Next one. Uh, what's next? Uh, the fighting thing, right? <laughs> yeah. You can uh, actually tell that if you hit them like hard enough, they stop. And there's like, there's three poles. No, I'm just gonna try and dodge as I go. Try to be slick. Let's do acrobatics checks. Let's do three. Acrobatics. Three I'm good. At you still love guidance. So that's a natural one on the first one. <laughs> uh, total of four. Second would be ooh, decent. Uh, uh, 16, 18 for the second one. 15 for the third one. That's with the D4s? Yep. yep. Or, I mean, that's not too bad. Two out of three. Like the, the first one hits you and you almost fall, but then you, 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 you get grabbed into something and then quick, quickly regain your balance. The, the next two are just like easy enough cool next one uh the, the moving no, rings the, the normal thing I'll, I'll try to jump as high as i can get over with the height thing uh i'll let you roll acrobatics and athletics because you're because of the high jump acrobatics first that's mm-hmm. a 10 athletics natural 20 but minus one so 19. <laughs> you still have guidance Oh wait, I said that. Oh, 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 Up to oh, this oh, point, I'd say, because you did, you you yeah. you lost Strider did, and yeah, with yeah. with that, it's it's also easy enough where you you just jump high enough, you almost slip, uh, and you almost like almost not catch some of the rings, but you're also you're still able to pass through, and it's the last one where it's the ramp. Oh, this one I'm gonna take five, six, ten steps back, and just run. And try as fast as I can go do that thing. You're still faster than the usual, so I would say acrobatics with advantage. Natural twenty, total nice. of twenty-four. <laughs> <laughs> so, so like total is just yeah. And you get to the top, and you actually see like a, a target to hit. So it's either you, you can hit it with everything. It's just like it's just a buzzer essentially, but you have to attack it with something. I sit on it. Well, let's. <laughs> Do an unarmed attack then, as you you Vader bomb it. 
We're just gonna use wrestling reference this whole episode. <laughs> <laughs> no, not Vader Bomb. Sorry. What's the Yokozuna thing? Bans, bans, Banzai Drop? Something like Something. Unarmed, unarmed attack. Unarmed. Right? Uh, so that's a 14. With the 14, he just uh, Banzai drops it and then. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice, nice. I never died that in for a second, my dude. And our next competitor! <laughs> I, I look over to them and say, Stop that! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna oh. run. You get to pick oh. first guy. Oh, oh, I get to pick. Um, The one who kicked me. <laughs> <laughs> so you just point to him. From the lizard people! Tizo! <laughs> I, I just walk forward and I'm like, fuck. <laughs> and then I rage. <laughs> oh! Oh! Is that, isn't that advantage in all strength checks? <laughs> it is. Yeah. <laughs> well. <laughs> Shit. So there you that, go. <laughs> that, that's basically the only thing I can do. But it's a good one for this one. <laughs> and I just. I I go. So what's what's the first one again? It's actually a cargo net climb. A cargo net. Okay, so I just go up there as fast as I can. How, how in do you a, rage, in a rage up there? It's like rah. <laughs> rage climbing. Rage climbing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's also easy enough. No no, no roll. Uh, the no next problem. one is tightrope. I just use the momentum going forward and then. I, I I jump towards the tightrope and then start hanging over it, hanging under it, and then start going like that. What's your long jump? What's your strength? Let's start yeah, with yeah. that. My, my strength my strength is fourteen plus two. Oh, that's not too high. Uh, yeah. And movement is thirty. Yeah. I would say you'd make it to like half a bit, and then you do the army thing. Yeah. So yeah, with that, it's also, I'll, I'll say after that, plus the rage, it's also easy enough, so no roll. Cool. Now it's the fighting part, which is just, I don't know. I, I, I reckless attack and take out my axe and just like swing at everything. Let's let's give you, yeah, give, give you three attack rolls with obviously reckless, so. Oh, ah. <laughs> what the fuck this? Oh. Uh, <laughs> that's 19 on the first one. Cool. 18 on the second one. Damn. And 17 on the third one. What so, the so it's just. <laughs> doof, doof, doof. What the fuck don't are even, my dice? Don't even try to attack back. Cool. Next. The, also the an rings. athletics challenge with the rings. Yeah, so I I just keep going forward and jump again. Uh, well, yeah, let's just give you a roll with advantage. Uh, athletics. Oh, uh, this is gonna suck. I hope not. Ah, athletics, twenty-three. Easy enough. It's also just major. Just you're just looking bad at this point. <laughs> oh. Topol is just looking uh, bad. And the uh, last one is just a run and then a pull-up thing. I sheath my battle axe or my big my big ass axe, and I take out two hand axes, and I use that to like climb up the ramp. <laughs> I mean, you just you kind of destroy the thing, but you're raging and everything. So I say that's also no roll, and then your final thing to to the buzzer. Yeah, so that's a it's a. I want to take out my axe again and do as I get on top, just one big jumping strike down onto the thing. Well, again, you're raging, so it's gonna be easy enough and everything. So it's just a, <laughs> you almost split the the whatever it is metal thing that is a bell. Ding ding ding. Up. <laughs> And then I just let out a roar, and then I calm down. I'm like, okay, who's next? <laughs> <laughs> well, you, actually, you pick. And All then right, the, the, the pick. crowd goes wild. Woo. I, I, I walk over, and then I, I point to Alon. Oh, shit. Next up, our water loving whatever. <laughs> but, but, human. Uh, as, I, as I walk up to him, I put my hand on his shoulder and cast it. Nice. Wow. Nice. Wow. Nice. Nice. I step up and I uh, give him an upwards nod and it's like half movement or difficult terrain so I'm going to use uh, a wild shape ability to activate undercurrent so let me ping that undercurrent. <laughs> for one hour uh, I don't suffer cheat from, this whole thing. <laughs> from difficult terrain 
with that you have you have your spirits whispering things to you as you climb it. <laughs> 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 and yeah, we, we skip we so skip that like, part. Daddy was a druid. Grandpa was a druid. Taught me a few things, and I like focus the spirits of my ancestors. And yeah, they, difficult they terrain me, does not bother me. <laughs> right, tightrope. I walk on it, balancing. Just the lame walk, balancing. Oh, right, well, the regular athletics, uh, uh acrobatics roll. Dirty twenty. <laughs> <laughs> Add the D four. Add the D four. <laughs> yeah, I mean, sure. like you just, you know, you got this. Plus a three, so twenty three total. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easily go through it. Fighting thing. <laughs> Like fighting thing. <laughs> um, uh, I have a pouch on my on my belt, and it has it's full of pebbles and mm-hmm. and stones the size of ball bearings, but they're just pebbles and stones. I take one and I cast magic stone, and I and I just throw at it. Oh, I feel fine. Uh, do your attack rolls. All right, magic stone. Here we go. Twenty five mm-hmm. crit. Well, well, you have something, plenty. Mitch? Wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, as soon as this happened, a fog starts to build around him. Oh, <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I cast fog cloud. <laughs> Natural. But I try to bro. hide it. <laughs> Natural. Twenty. <laughs> three attacks. Three attacks. The first one is fine. It's also, it's a natural twenty. But the next two, because of the fog cloud, do it with disadvantage. Okay. So. Ooh. <laughs> this, okay. Did so I? The next, did, did I see him cast it? I, yep, I tried he's to not hide hiding it. it. Can I? <laughs> can I try? So the second one is eleven and twenty-two. So eleven is the lower roll. Oh, Let's no. next one. Uh, seven. <laughs> well, you got two out of three. So the first one you just hit it. That like you, you see the fog build up. Like throw it. In. The next one also make it stop. The third one you 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 miss. But you mm-hmm. don't know you miss because of the fog cloud. You walk through it, it hits you, but you're still able to regain your balance because you had good enough balance from the first two. Last, uh, yeah, so rings. I'll get you for this, bro. Um, <laughs> you don't know that. <laughs> you weren't hiding it. And there's a specific one to stealth magic. So I can say, you you, you just hear this. You just hear someone casting it. You know what, like what Snape was doing in the Quidditch match? <laughs> <laughs> for the rings. I'll wild shape into a monkey. Oh, mm. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> nice. I mean, with with that, I, I I assume you just jump wild shape into a monkey and just, just easily, you know, George of the jungle it and then yeah, no yeah. roll. And then it's the last part where a monkey would be too short. But what are you doing? I'll drop the wild shape and I'll just run and just just regular run. I mean, athletics or acrobatics, depending on what you're trying to do. If you're just uh, powering through it, or are you just kind of being or something? So I was being kind of acrobatic in the earlier one, but for this, uh, I'll power through. Thirteen. Thirteen, yes. Thirteen is enough. It's not too hard. You get it, and then for the last thing, your buzzer. Primal savagery. My hands grow into like animal claw, and and you know claws grow, and I'll just swipe at the bell. So like Morty. <laughs> <laughs> This probably better references, but we're going. We'll go with that. Ding, ding. Yeah. All right, and the crowd goes wild. So far, it's like um, Toko was the worst one, and you're the next one. So mm-hmm, that's mm-hmm. how the rankings are. Go heading over to these guys. Mm-hmm. I'll give Tizo a high five, and I'll shoulder check uh, Toko. Oh, <laughs> I'm too short. So you're. <laughs> <having> to- <laughs> Why, 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 you, need, you, while, need, you need che- you hip check him, hip check while, him to the head. <laughs> while Alan is moving forward after the high five, can I try and I want to try and grab Tukul's head and just lift him up a bit so that Alan can shoulder check him. Hey, hey, hey watch the hair, watch the hair. Uh, the uh, next challenge if you're not letting him do that. Oh, I'm fighting that. Okay, next let's see. Let's, let's try. Let's try. <laughs> I, I only have few hair left. God damn it! <laughs> What'd you get? Six. I got seven. <laughs> <laughs> so you're able to lift them up and you shoulder check. Oh, ah, my hair. Who are, you, who are you choosing next? Point to the end and go for Yan. And our next contender, our regular shooty shooty person. <laughs> person. Yan. 
As she passes by, I give her a head pat and give her guidance. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. What are you doing? First, I get my short sword and I point it to Tupul. Put the cow down. <laughs> hey. Hey. Put it down. <laughs> Do it. Take right. the club down. <laughs> All right, I got this. I get two arrows and kind of just do that. Oh, the Wolverine thing? Or like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not Wolverine. Who does that? Some Hawkeye. Hawkeye does that. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah. Cool. I mean, it's a it's it's a cargo net thing. So like with arrows, you have extra hooks. So cool. Yes, yeah, simple enough. Next. So I'm surprised no one has cut the type rope. <laughs> Oh but, no! You came no meta gaming. Yeah. Um. So she's wearing layers of shirts. So I remove the first layer. I'm gonna like tie it and like swing across. Yeah. Levi's five hundred one. Mister Lava Lava. <laughs> so yeah, he does that and then like, slides. Uh, fighting. Uh, fighting part with no more cloud. <laughs> no more cloud. Um. Short sword. Still again. Just uh, attack. Yeah. You cast it again. <laughs> yes. Oh, <fuck. laughs> oh yes. Yeah. I'm gonna put it down. <laughs> <laughs> you 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 get the first one as a regular roll because it's close, but the other two because you're it's hard. All right, all right. With disadvantage. First one is twelve. Mm-hmm. Ten. Mm-hmm. And the last one. Thirteen. So two out of three. So like you hit the first one, you go in the cloud. It's hard to it's hard to see you think you you hit the second one but it actually hits you in the head you lose balance regain it kind of dodge under it hit the third one and like you pivot around it you're cool um rings i don't have anything so just normal go through it athletics then regular roll ah no sorry athletics and acrobatics so dex is 12 mm-hmm. and then athletics is 10 just 10. Just 10 still enough you you're able to jump up on it and like, you, you struggle. It's kind of hard. Like you swing back and forth a couple of times before you get to the next one, etc. Like it happens a bunch of times. So you are slower than Tukul. Um, last one. I have nothing again. So I'm just going to go back a little and rush forward. All right. So you're just going to speed run it. Then just a regular acrobatics check. That is a 10. That's still that's the DC. It, in case you have guys haven't figured, <laughs> so you are able to climb. And the last one is your the buzzer. I am just going to jump on it. And you jump on it, and then you Mario shell it, and, like, ding! <laughs> <laughs> and crowd goes semi wild because it was worse than Tupul. Was worse than Tupul. I'm gonna and hide. And our last contender. <laughs> Little Serpent Girl! Tala! Crickets. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll just step up to the, the thing, the net, and start climbing it. Normally. Normally? I mean, I mean, it's not hard. So, like, you know, um, yeah, the well, uh, normal, what's the role? No, like, maybe, like, with, like, a, a like, a vault action. Cool. Um, I'll let you do uh, athletics with advantage for reasons. And there are some people booing because like, boo. Not, not 19. One of us. Oh, minus two, 17. 17 is still like easy enough. You just climb without a problem. Tightrope, what are you doing? Slack line tight. There you go. Modern references. I think um, the bar in gymnastics. Okay. <laughs> cool. So I will do like a cartwheel to round off back spring towards the other end. Wow. <laughs> oh. Oh. Cool. Like, like you just you, you, you just do the tumbling part and people are just like <laughs> <laughs> yeah no uh, yeah no roll uh, fighting part can I cast entangle yeah you cast entangle on the first one Oof. stops moving what else are you doing guess I'll get my song il. cool um, because you have because of your uh, because of a class subclass feature that you have um, just regular attacks, no disadvantage. 15. 15 and? 13. Cool, so it, the first one wasn't moving, you just walk, you just walk past them like, pff, no, no sweat. And next we have your rings. Like how, how are the rings, like, like horizontally or like? 
like exactly the ones in Ninja Warrior. <laughs> <laughs> Like I'm sorry, okay? Or like, like <laughs> no, they're like moving rings where you like... Ah! Uh, right? <laughs> like uh, obstacle course racing. Obstacle like. course. So uh, can I do like a straddle vault? What is a straddle vault? <laughs> <laughs> it's a gymnastics move. I know, but what is it? If, or maybe like a front salto or something. <laughs> no. Okay, wait, I'll Google that too. <laughs> <laughs> can you even spell it is the thing. <laughs> Anyway, you do you do gymnastics things fine. <laughs> can, can, for for the benefit of the audience, because I'm never gonna be able to describe this. Can you describe what it what what you look like going? Okay, so there? like a front salto is like imagine um, front flipping while grabbing the thing. Could have just so said like you're that. front flipping and then grabbing it. Cool. All right. And then the straddle vault is like. Um, sure. You're straddling it and then like, you know, pulling yourself up with like your legs split open like that. Oh. Mm. So something like that. All right. Cool. All right. And, and then for so you do that for the first one, the second one, how you get to the third one? Actually, maybe like a reverse skip. <laughs> sure. Like whatever. Scoop. Describe how it works. So like, you know, my hands are up like this. I'm going to fold myself in half with my legs on top of my face trying to straddle to the other to the other bar does it make sense mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it totally makes sense right? totally makes sense and then you, you, you flip in the middle Is that just, how it just a lot of flipping action all over right cool and i assume for the last one getting to the ground you do a split <laughs> no no to the ground i'll do you like a, split a corkscrew leg drop? to a split no i'll i'll do like a corkscrew to a split Cool. Okay. I, those are things I understand. Okay. <laughs> Jan, you had to Google Corks. Okay. I paid you the oh. fool. <laughs> like, no. that, I, I've described it for everyone else. It's just like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. I mean, last one. The thing. The, the, the ramp. I'll just power through. Just regular power through. Oh, yeah, oh, no, no I mean, like, you know, run to it. Cool. Um, do you? Nope. Regular roll. Athletics or athletics. acrobatics? Acrobatics. Athletics or acrobatics, depending oh, on yeah, how you're acrobatics. doing it. Yeah. <laughs> Twenty-three. Twenty-three is like you done it. You've done this like just as fast as Tizo, and the mm. crowd goes not wild, but it's like because because then you're like the heel. Okay. So like you you're you're doing impressive stuff, but they're like, psh, 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 fine, she can come along. Show off. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Cloud's still there, just there. <laughs> I'll do like a cartwheel. Mm -hmm. Do like a corkscrew. Like a back flip, but my song will lands on the button. Sure, hey. it's fancy and that will not make you roll for it. You do a running start, like kind of kind of like the the ramp thing, the pong. Mm. That's the sound it makes. Pong, <laughs> pong, and then you landed it with the song and it's like, stabbing it. And yeah, the car goes mild, mm. bookworm, because <laughs> of mixed emotions. But some of them are yay. Yes. <laughs> the tribe leader, who you know as Decon. Um, is just going back into his tent or house just before signaling Yanni and Nardo like with a with a you know the upward nod that guys do signaling yep do it and walk back and you are now um so Yanni approaches with with Nardo is who just who's just like they're both just like your typical oh uh, no no Nardo is your typical bandit guy with like everything's black tattered leather cow leather you know studs every now and then you know <laughs> punk kind of the like the cure in the 80s or something like that kind of looking um whereas yanni is a bit more colorful still like black but like with you know streaks of red just whatever fabric they can find and and sew it together except that the, the typical people normally dye it black for the whole punk aesthetic but yeah, he kind of cares less. That's why there's some color in him. To and then they, oh, 
everyone come here it's time to prepare so is everyone ready we're going right now like right now let's do it what are we doing well uh, we found uh, our our friends found this uh small settlement uh to the north uh six seven eight houses nothing too big probably won't probably have one or two fighters with them so here's the thing me and nardo we can take care of one get you five of you take care of the other one shouldn't be too hard for you you know tough guys five against one and beat yeah. those odds doable. can we keep some of the loot or do we have to give it all to the village you know how things work all to the village and then you get whatever you need to survive Deacon decides on everything Tala are you sure you're okay? I'm fine alright uh, he starts to uh, pack, pack a cart with a few supplies it's not like a big cart it's not even a proper it's mo- mostly so like you raid and you put stuff there like you're not carrying a lot of supplies going there. It's probably uh, half a day to get there. You you'll get there or just around night time. Um, are you? Uh, what's anyone doing in between? It's you don't get long. to rest in the cart because you guys walk. They use the cart. Seniority is a thing in Bandit Camp. I think I'll be talking up uh, Tizo. Hey, hey. That was a nice run, man. That was, you guys, you were fucking amazing. That's yeah, cool. it's fine. It's cool. Yeah. yeah. And to, to Yan and Tala, you guys were okay too. Fuck you, Tukol. You guys were okay too. <laughs> yeah, Tukol, you're not, you're not very nice. Oh, please. What was it all the fog clouds, man? Oh, something to spice it up? <laughs> I mean... Right. Fuck you, Tukol. I mean, we gotta we gotta help each other, man. It's, you know, if we fuck each other up, then some of us might actually die. But it's fun, <laughs> you know, it's, I guess. But you know, no, you know what? I think that's fine. If if Tukol dies, I get this food. It's fine. It's cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, I'll, 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 I can I can throw you pretty far. Let's see what happens. Yan, Tala, you guys good? I'm shocked with Tala though. Like. I hardly see you out. Where did all those moves come from? We don't need to know. Oh, well, hey, I'm also, so... you guys shouldn't really talk about death that so casually like that. It's nothing to joke about. I just see it every day. It's not really a big deal. Wet blanket. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with this girl? We're going on it. our first raid. Cheer up a little. Yeah, this is what, this is what we've been training for, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything else, so please leave me alone. Fair enough. All right. Anyway, uh, fuck you, Tukol. <laughs> hey! <laughs> fuck Tukol. you, too! You're, you're, you're not... Tukol, you're not very nice. <laughs> To call no more clouds. Again? Come here. What did you say? I, I'm I'm sorry. I can't hear me all the way down there. I said oh. you're not very nice. Huh? Oh, I'll show you nice. I'll show you. To call? That, that, no. That sounds... are, you, are you casting something? No. <laughs> that that sounds that sounds vaguely sexual, and I don't really want to know about it. You, you get to the main place. Um, any plans? Anything? Did we get a long rest? No, right? Nope, you don't even get a short one. Oh, I thought, oh, all right. How is the ter- area? Is it like there's trees? <laughs> right now you're still walking, so like you're planning while walking. Uh, anything you're doing? Anything? Any preparations? Pre-game? Wow. I'm just refilling my pouch with stones and pebbles. Like. Mm. 
my entire thing is getting angry and hitting things with a stick, so I think I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, you stop on the tree line, and maybe 40, 50 feet away is the edge of the settlement. Again, it's like you count there to be from where you sit, like hiding in the tree line, you count maybe six houses. You see mm. the, the usual people going about their business, like uh, like a tanner, tanning hides, someone skinning like a pig or something. You know, the typical what you expect uh, a six hut settlement to be doing. Someone probably cooking rice in in a bamboo thing. Can um, I climb up a tree? Uh, I would say it's easy enough because you have time, so no need to roll for it. And the trees aren't too high. Um, from from the better vantage point from up, up, up the tree, Astala climbs. You see that um, from outside, you just see one person that is armed, and the rest are like like five common men, commoner men, maybe mm-hmm. same number of women, maybe one or two children from outside. What are you doing? So like, there's no sight of the other person because you don't see who wh- what who's in houses. Right. Mm. So it's either they're inside or they're out and about hunting. What are you doing, well, Raiders? We're with our superiors, right? Uh, yeah, are Yanni gonna... and Mardo. I'm gonna excavate some earth beneath me, like three feet or so, using mold, mel- mold earth. Get like three feet of it and make a ditch, and I'm gonna hide inside it. <laughs> and then like, like everyone's just like, I can't do anything up close. I'm. Yeah. You know, like, you know how how military the yeah, yeah. The, the trench warfare. <laughs> yeah, 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 like that. But it's only a five foot. <laughs> but anyone wants to join me, feel free to do so. <laughs> We're supposed to be scouting. Yeah, but what if I'm wearing flashy yellow? Might be seen. I'm gonna hide here. <laughs> what is everyone else doing? I'll be your eyes. From down there. Well, I can. I can. I'm just waiting for the there. signal to go. Yeah, same. I'm just waiting for the signal. Okay. I can go in first. Is everyone ready? Um... We'll circle back. If we, if no one's doing anything else, we'll circle back. Draw the the man's attention, the the, the soldier's attention, and Wait. you do what you do from this side. Hey Tala, what do your elf eyes see? <laughs> 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 far seeing eyes is what Aragorn said. Uh, Yanni's near, right? They're just there, like they're below the tree. Yanni, you told me that there's two people, right? Two guards, soldiers that we have to look out for. That's uh, that's what our scouts say. There's only one. I mean, truth be told, I could handle both of them, but mm. you babies need training. So even if there's more, I wouldn't. Just don't get killed. And they walk. Tukol, Yan, and Tala, you guys fight with bows, right? Yeah. Uh... You can say that. Alright, so that means, does that mean you're staying here? Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Is I anyone Tizu... doing anything before uh, Yanni and Naruto start charging? No. Nah. As soon as they charge, I'm going to charge in with Tizu. Right, Hell uh, yeah! Let's do this. As you, th- there's no signal. They just, you just, you just say, see a couple of people ah, with their blades. <laughs> What's everyone doing? Uh, as the as the people of town panic, some some go to their houses, some go out to try to defend. There is just one actual fighter. The rest are normies. What's everyone doing? I'm still in the do, tree, they right? Do, they do focus on the other side. Let's roll advantage. This is just to so I have order. Um, yeah, let's see where you go. Sorry, initiative. <laughs> We've been rolling advantage so much this game. <laughs> oh shit! Ah uh, damn! Oh I shit! I have a ten. Yeah, and ten. Nine for Tukul. Fifteen for Tala. Uh, five for Tizo. Seven for Alun. Seven for Alun. Wow. So as I run forward, I gotta trip over on the whole school. Like, oh f- fuck! Watch the ditch. Don't. <laughs> All right. Uh, who's this? Tala, what are you doing? 
draw my long bow, uh, long bow, shoot at the the armored person. <laughs> The armored person is supposed to be. Remember though that the armored person is there taking care of that guy. But you can. Ah. You can still shoot it if you want. Let's go. Let's shoot it. Let's shoot it. All right. Uh, roll your attack. Regular roll. Ah, uh, no, sorry. With advantage because you are hidden. Everyone is hidden at the moment. 24. Nice. 24 hits. What's the damage? Damage? Eight. Um, hidden. You, you fire your first arrow. <laughs> Hits it at the it is he is armored but you it the he, you hit it enough where it, it, he like gets like in the, in the gap of the armor you mm-hmm. hit him for how much again eight all right eight. all right he looks at you and your position is essentially revealed they're they're kind of aware of you but he still goes for the first two in that area um yeah what are you doing how many feet away is he from me seventy seventy mm-hmm. oh, he, okay. he went the opposite direction okay I can still. Hit him. So following Tala, I also shoot uh, my crossbow at him. Mm-hmm. Uh, you still have advantage. Okay. 18 to hit. Mm-hmm. Hits. 10 piercing. All right. Um, as you also uh, hit him, at, uh, he turns to you, he go, goes back around and another arrow hits him. Tukul, what are you doing? A quick question. Can gnomes use longbows? With disadvantage. It's with disadvantage of longbow. Yep. Okay, so yeah. Um, I tried to hit whoever... But you have advantage, so it's a straight roll. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> ah, right. Yeah, longbow. <laughs> I get out of the ditch. Still the same guy? The guy that you're not supposed to be hitting, but okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah then that one. They just hit them, okay. Just roll it back then, regular. Regular. Oh shit, that's an eight. Eight to hit? Nah, David Claus. Just <laughs> from your ditch, you're like firing wherever. <laughs> cool. Trying um, to look cool. Right, Alan, what are you doing? So there's one champion and five commoners. They're all approaching Yanni. Them, because that's their first turn, essentially. Bonus action, I'll take uh, I'll cast magic stone on three pebbles and I'll throw it at the commoner nearest. To us, sure, just not roll a natural one, yeah. Uh, natural, uh, nah, uh 10 to hit, <laughs> <laughs> 10 to hit, uh, seven bludgeoning. Yep, that guy goes down just like you hit it in the head, and right? That's the end of my turn. And everyone, you do see someone actually killing someone for the first time. Um, Tizo, what are you doing? Um, from growing up in the raider settlement and having them tell us what we're supposed to do, I go in, I charge towards one of the houses. Do, do they have windows? As you get to 30 feet of the one that's nearest to you, um, someone fires at you with a ready action. That is a 21 to hit. I don't know, oh, that, that doesn't hit. <laughs> 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 but it's just for six piercing damage. Essentially, an archer from inside one of the huts reveals himself. Okay, so I take the hit. And I'm like, fuck. And I bonus action my rage. Because of the hit. Oh, systematic. <laughs> uh, and then... How far away is he? He is in the... Not the closest. The one after. Uh, one of the houses, but um, like forty, uh, like thirty-five ish. Thirty-five. Like that. mm-hmm. Let's say thirty-five. Then an actual thirty-five. Okay, is it possible to reckless attack a thrown javelin? It's even though it's outside thirty feet, it'll still be cool, a normal straight roll. roll. Cool, do it. My red eyes turn even redder, <laughs> and I throw a javelin at him. <laughs> like that hurt. He, he is in he is in cover by the way. Uh you would have hit if not for the cover. Half <sighs> cover. Uh, they actually go first. Um this guy, since you're the closest, unfortunately, um hits you. That is a fourteen and an eighteen. Oh, yep. sorry, with advantage. <laughs> well they both hit anyway. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. Not uh, not expected. <laughs> eight and nine, so have it's eight total. 
from two from two arrows. <laughs> Ouch. Not too bad. Not too bad. Um, I'm gonna die, guys. Aha. Tala, what are you doing? <laughs> you now see this guy with the arrow. So let's call them sword guy and archer guy. <laughs> uh, I'll shoot at archer guy. He kind of ducks though, so he's like in three fourths. After shooting. 13. Oh. 13 is like not even close as you just like hit the house. Anything else? I'll get down the tree. All right. And try to move as close to another tree. Um, with, with moving to going down, you, you may move like another 10 feet from that okay. tree. And there are trees, like a lot of trees just behind. You can, um, we'll say probably you hide behind one of them. Mm-hmm. Like not completely, but kind of. So, so that so we don't bog down combat with just people hiding from so like if people want to hide they're in three forts not completely hidden because otherwise it's just gonna be impossible mm. um cool um right yan so i will cast hunter's mark on him mm-hmm. and then i will attack with my crossbow sure roll your attack that is a natural 20. no oh yeah. <laughs> So let's go. So that's a plus three. So twelve. Fifteen. Yeah. Fifteen. As you, yeah, you, you like see it like hit him like somewhere like near the club. Like it's, it's a bad hit. Toko, do something from your data. Uh, um, I'm, I'm, I'm frustrated that I can't hit what. Ah, fuck! Ah, I can't let um Vizo have all the glory. I'm gonna go in as well. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Putting <laughs> back. Just waddle <laughs> over. <laughs> Alright, 25 feet in. What else? Can I get closer? In you can melee? dash? Yeah, full movement. All Everything. Right. To, to who? Archer guy. Uh, you, you you get to the door, it's locked. So, but... <laughs> and, and that's that's the end of your turn. Like, I'm imagining that meme! Let me in! Let me in! <laughs> 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 yeah. That's that's just Midge every day. <laughs> cool, Alan, what are you doing? I'll throw uh, a magic stone at him first. 24 to hit, 6 damage. Do? All right, that hits. And just throw it like a like a baseball and uh, full move and then full movement as well 30 Whatever feet of that. movement as 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 cool, close cool, to him cool. as I can get. All right. You're about 20 feet away from the door. Uh, also, during that turn, you also see, or I forgot to mention, that you see the people uh, going for it. Um, in, in his turn, Nardo actually stabs two of them, so like there's two left. And um, and Yan, Yanni engages with the with sword guy. Cool, Tiso, what are you doing? Can I go in and uh, reckless attack the door? Yep, just roll your attack. Hey, you, be- you, you better duck if you know it's good for you. <laughs> Even need to duck. Well, I'm short. <laughs> oh. Burn. It's wood. Uh, so. That's a 22. Right? It's kind of a resilient door, but you did hit 12. it. 12. All right. You, you hit it once and it, and it starts to crack. Almost there, but you, you need a mo- little more. But I my weapon has a special ability. What? <laughs> I can use well, I can use my that. bonus action to hit it with the other end because it's pointy. Cool, do it. Wha- mm. What is your weapon? It's a bunang. Ooh, fancy. <laughs> uh, AC is fifteen. Eh, doesn't work. It's a nine. Right. So you you hit it and the the, the, the like uh to all you see him just slamming the door and it probably funny to you. <laughs> cool. And um, yeah, that ends that ends my turn. Cool. And and as we go go back to the top of the round where it's the the the, the two the two superiors and the the other guys, the other one kills the other two men. So it's just a champion left. And um Yanni also added with the champ with with the with the, with sword guy. And Tala, your turn. Let's hit Archer guy again. All right, uh, roll your attack. 14? 14 is not, not even close. Just wow. hit part of the house. It's gonna stay right. hide behind the tree again. Cool. Um, Yan. I am gonna hit it again with a crossbow. 
13. Thirteen is also like you hit like parts of like where he's hiding. Like, you like see arrows there now. Anything else? Staying where I am. All right, cool. Um, Tokol. Door. Uh, the the archer guy is inside a hut. Mm-hmm. Right? With a door. Uh, and with a door. There are no windows. There is a window, but it's high. It's like it's a it's a it's just a window window, but it's uh it's essentially like an arrow slit, the, mm. the arrow slit so equivalent think... of wooden huts. So it's just really the door. Then, um, right. I mean, there's no way you're gonna reach it, especially with your height. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how can I open it? Uh... It's it's half broken. Like it's almost there. I look over to Tizo. Huh? I get a crowbar, mm-hmm. and like I'm gonna hold my action to help him. Well, he already has reckless, but okay. <laughs> Alan, what are you doing? Another magic stone to the archer guy. All right. Ten to hit, and then I'll move closer to the door. All right. Hello. Uh, yep. Twenty feet away. Tizo. Just attack it again. I, I, have, right. I am getting advantage from help, right? You're yeah. Also, am you I? don't need the reckless because you already have help. Okay, let's go. What the fuck? <laughs> it's a uh, plus nice. four, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Nope. Yeah. Bonus action. Can I reckless this one? You can. Ah, oh, there you go. Better. Uh, twenty-one. Sure, damage. Six damage. That's exactly enough. And as you do that, like just just the door just splits open. <laughs> okay, I use my movement to go inside. And I'm like, who the fuck hit me with arrows? Uh, you do see him like there's a like a kawaiian stair like stairs, and he's like up there on the kind of mezzanine, not second floor. Not so, yeah. mezzanine. Mezzanine, yeah. <laughs> there's an elevator. It says M. <laughs> cool. Um, I'm done with my turn. The the other two have their own separate fight now, so we're just gonna forget about those guys. Archer guy, Archer guy goes first. He's gonna attack you, Tizo. That is a natural twenty and a natural one. That's the advantage roll, so not twenty. Oh and, god. And twenty plus. So not twenty first <laughs> is. That is oof. Eighteen piercing for the first attack. So nine. Mm-hmm. And six piercing, so three. Bruh! <laughs> That's two longbow arrows. Like, there's like four arrows stuck on I'm here. just riddled with <laughs> arrows right now. Tala, what How's are you doing? How's he looking? Um, you, don't, you can't see, he's inside now. Tala, what are you doing? Can I see? Can I still see the longbow, the N- arrow guy? Not anymore. Not anymore. Because he moved away from the window to, to get distances up. If you dash, you can get to the door. You can even get inside, technically, with the dash. But that's your turn. Nothing else. Unless you have something that gives you hmm. an extra thing on your turn. <laughs> Action search. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, what I was planning was to just move 30 feet mm-hmm. and then do my guardian roar. Then you, yeah, you can. Cool. Because they're thirty feet away. From how, how, what, what do you yell for your guardian roar? Yeah, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I really, really thought she was gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> Missed opportunity. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, uh, uh, yeah. She she uh, Tala just walks forward. Uh, does um, get to thirty feet? Uh, yells something. Uh, Ooh. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> and um, Arara, Archer son. <laughs> no, but not uh choose up to three creatures within thirty feet. Thirty feet is the archer guy and everyone else in your team. Uh, Are you choosing anyone from your team? Because you can if you want. Protects. Why would you? <laughs> Why? You don't know you don't know her story. <laughs> mm. She doesn't like us, man. <laughs> Nothing yet. <laughs> Nothing yet. Arrow guy. Um, arrow guy. Arrow guy fails. Fails to save. So he is affected by your roar. I stay there. Stay there. You can use your action to move, actually, is the thing. I'll go back to the trees. <laughs> All right. That, that actually makes sense. Uh, yeah, and what are you doing? 
I'm dashing towards the door. Mm hmm. And, and then stopping there? Yeah. Just cool. Toko, what are you doing? Uh, I draw my short sword and I slip under uh, Tizo's leg. Thanks for covering, buddy. And I'm gonna run over to Archer Guy, try to look for him. Here comes the cool. I'm gonna <laughs> run over to him. Uh, can I make it with my 25 feet of movement? Roll me acrobatics to see if you can. Because you can, but there's like a the bamboo stairs. But let's see if we're acrobatics roll to see if you can. Acrobatics. Yeah. I'm kind of nimble. That's. Uh, that's a ooh, natural 18 so plus yep, something. Yeah, you can do it. Just 22. Because like, <laughs> they're not like, you know, they're not like one feet different. This is but... what we trained it for. <laughs> the obstacle right. course. Yep. Uh, so, yeah, short sword. Mm-hmm. Hello. That's a 15. Misses. Hits, her, oh. hits his armor, just slides through the leather. And hits one of the studs. Cool. Alan, what are you doing? He is hidden. With my movement, can I get to him? The the problem is everyone's there right now. So it's like crowded. Okay, okay. So the next reasonable spot where I can see him. So it's either you go in or you're kind of crowded there. And you can see him and you can melee, uh, you can range attack him. Or you can't see him. All right, cool. Do it. All right. And then so I'll move in. And then action magic stone mm-hmm. 20 to hit eight the right. eight bludgeoning damage. Cool. And how does how does uh Tizo look to me? Look very badly injured. Um on a scale of one to thirty-four, he's about an eight. <laughs> <laughs> then I, I uh, bonus action I will call upon my spirits, uh spirit guides and cast. Healing word. No. What's the healing word? What do you say? Trying to remember what my, my father word. and my grandparents are, are telling me and say. It's one word. Agents. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm just. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Oh, I know. <laughs> Sheesh. 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 Even worse. <laughs> and oh, oh, oh. The, this, go. Is, the, this is your this is your somatic component. <laughs> I'll go uwu instead. I'll say uwu. Just he just she cheese so much and just go uwu. It's okay. Yeah. Fine. Let's uh, do that. F- five Tiso. points. Five yep, points. Five on points. Time. All right. Tiso, what are you doing? Uh, can I get up to him? Can I get yep. up to Archer? Again? Uh, no, because guess what? The wall is in the way. <laughs> uh, fuck. Then push. <laughs> Recently, huh? I, I'm I'm raging, so I'm not thinking clearly. I want to get up there and I want to move into Tuchel's space. <laughs> you can. I'll, I'll let you with your action push him, shove him down. Like huh? it's easy enough with your raging. He's tiny. Yeah. And then you still have your bonus action to attack. Is that how it works with your uh, or only you have to only him? if I use the attack action. Mm. So let me just see here what else I can do. I will use my bonus action to cast Sanctuary on myself. <laughs> what? Yeah, I have Sanctuary. What the, what is the that? hell is that? <laughs> oh, you can't... Oh, my uh, God. You can't... Oh, yeah. Is concentration. Wait, 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 wait. You cannot oh. concentrate no, it's when not. you're raging. It's not. It's what? not. What? <laughs> it's a buff. <laughs> it's... <laughs> wait, is it... It's a class feature or a it's, racial feature? It's, it's a racial feature. God. See, the only races are stupid. Stupid good. Yeah, so I cast, I go up there and I cast Sanctuary in myself as I but, stare but, this guy down. As as you shove, um, Tukol, Tukol, uh, you take four fall damage. <laughs> as you're like, uh, ah, how much, how much? Four. <laughs> four. Ah, I rolled high. <laughs> All right, um, uh, uh, on his turn, he is, Jumps out of the window like and does a parkour parkour uh, tower opportunity. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah uh, no, natural three. Natural three. Oh, Aww. as you miss, as he's really quick, and you see him drawn to the to the to the battle cry that Tala did. Um, walks Ooh. out, uh, mm-hmm. 
the Ulu. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. Walks there like 30 feet, now 30 feet away from Tala, sees you, and then makes its attack. And that is a fi- 15 plus something and a natural 20. Oh! Stop, stop so, rolling so, so good. So the first one is a 16 piercing damage for the first attack, Tala. And the second one is a 9 piercing damage. As as you were running <gasps> you were running towards the, the tree line, two arrows just slice through your back. <laughs> kind of just slicing your whatever you're wearing on the back as well and it, uh, that's his turn um Tala your Wait, turn what? how that's near is he on me 30 feet behind you I will run away run away okay cool to, to the trees to the trees all right you'd be 60 feet 60 away from and then I'll yeah 60 just shoot him run away. yeah all right go roll your attack doesn't hit. Doesn't hit. All right, cool. As you running away, hurt with your back hurting, suddenly turn around at the end, you know, like a Michael Jordan fade away shot. But <laughs> 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 cool. Uh, Jan, what are you doing? Thirty I feet away. I am rolling out the door. Mm-hmm. I, I've got difficult terrain it and just like you can get to fifteen feet away from him. Like you have. To... <laughs> okay. Alright, 15 feet away from Archer Guy. Shoot him with mm-hmm. crossbow. Alright. 19. Hits. That is a 9 total. 9 total. Alright. Uh, anything else? Uh, As you arrow hits his back, he's also now riddled with arrows. Uh, I stay there. Just... Cool, too cool. I'm prone, I guess. <laughs> uh huh. So half movement. <laughs> <laughs> and. You, you um, can go to the door through Ali. Yeah. I'm just gonna. Do a barrel roll underneath uh, uh, Alan's legs. <laughs> ah! uh, you'd be te- you'd be twenty feet away from Archer guy. Oh, oh, I got you now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> can I get back my longbow again? <laughs> yeah, and I attack with disadvantage because <laughs> it's too long for a gnome. How, how historically speaking, how long is a longbow? Uh, like six feet. Six, six, yeah, six yeah. feet. Twice my size. <laughs> <laughs> you so like you have to shoot feet, like this. Yeah. I, have like to, I have to aim it upwards <laughs> in an arc. <laughs> yeah, we'll just say that. That's why right, it's again. disadvantage. You have, to, <laughs> you, have to, you have to plant one end of it into the ground first <laughs> and then pull it. <laughs> it's a two-man job. <laughs> two-man. Uh, yeah, that doesn't work out. Natural three and five. <laughs> Alright, cool. Well. Alan. Yeah, I will run out to get to him. Melee range, mm-hmm. primal savagery, uh, claws grow out of my, and I'll just swipe. Morty, Morty swipe. All right, cool. Natural twenty five damage, five acid damage. That's the total. Yes. What? Because <laughs> one on the damage die. Ah. And then four on the second that on the crit damage. <laughs> oh my god! As your acid arms just like lightly graze him. <laughs> what a yeah. packer! Cool. Um, uh, anyone get... who is injured from my teammates who are within sixty feet of me that I can see. Is Tala within sixty feet of me? No, she is sixty-five feet because of because she's sixty from the other guy. Ah, okay. <laughs> too far, too far. Yeah. Um. Tizu is behind. If I look behind, is he? I can't see him because he's upstairs. Okay, ending turn. Cool. Um, Tizu. Follow the guy out the window. I try to get as close to him as I can. Yeah, you could. You could be like Alon, you guy. So reckless attack with my bunang. Mm-hmm. Uh, nineteen to hit. Hits. Six points of slashing damage. Cool. Since I hit him, can he make a wisdom saving throw, please? What is Ten. That? He loses sight of anything beyond 30 feet of himself. And this also oh. affects other methods of awareness, including tremor sense and blind sight. The that? creature knows where I am if I move more than 30 feet away from it. And every time I hit him, I gain 2 HP. <laughs> <laughs> How did why did they make that this alongside the roar? Anyway. Because that's 
Yep. Just disadvantage and everything now. Cool. Try to hit him again with the other part of my axe. Mm-hmm. Oh! Oh! That's a natural 20. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Let's see. What are all Six. these natural 20s on the run? Four. So seven mm-hmm. plus two rage, nine. And I gain two HP. He's n- now starting to look bad. Tara, what are you doing? You see the, the commotion, like everyone's like, stuff are, stops going down. And you're 60 feet away. What are you doing? I will drink a potion. <laughs> <laughs> cool. <laughs> Great. All right. Uh, sure. And then I'm going to move. Like, D- just heal 10. I'm going to climb up a tree. All right. You, you easily find a tree where you're at. Like, find something that's not obscure. And them, yeah. Easy enough. Cool. Uh, that will be your turn. Yan, what it's- are you doing? I am shooting at him, at him again. Um, you ca- kind of need to move somewhere. So yes. Further? Because no, because two guys, two big guys. Well, one big guy, one medium oh. guy blocking. So like, just get uh, okay. some rage. I- I'm yes. gonna um, like move sideways until I get to see him. Yep. Right. Then do you do attack? Eleven. All right. It doesn't hit. Eleven. It's happening. Uh, stay here. Nothing else. All right. Um, I forgot his turn again. Sorry, for his turn, I keep forgetting his turn. <laughs> for his turn, he attacks uh, Tizo with regular roll. Yep. Because he has multiple disadvantages, but has advantage. That is, I used not the Vax dice. Uh, that is a 17 to hit. Yep. For um, six piercing. So three. Yep. And he. Oh no! Sorry, he has another one. That's another attack. That is nope. And he stays. So cool. Seeing that he didn't move, I'm mm-hmm. gonna rush over towards him now and <laughs> putting back the bow. I, I, you know what? I'm just throwing the bow away. <laughs> it doesn't work. Um, I pull out my my short sword and another short sword because I have two. And uh. I have one in a reverse grip, and I just like. Uh, you can pull arc. out one. I can pull out only one. <laughs> Sorry, those are the rules, boy. No. <laughs> All right, un- unless you have unless you have dual wielding as a feat. Yeah. Oh, okay, then one. Rewind. I take out one short sword. <laughs> in a reverse grip, so it's cool. in a reverse grip. <laughs> yeah, and I hit in the knee. <laughs> I took. A short sword to the knee. <laughs> <laughs> I was an adventurer like you once. Uh, does a 16 hit? Yeah, it does hit. Yes! <laughs> this is what these are. Uh, four. Four, okay. With the four, four you actually... You, damage. You... Slashing, no? Piercing With the four, damage. you actually take out its... Like, you, you slice the foot. He, he drops at one, but he's still... You know, he's still alive, but he's almost down. Anything else? Uh-huh. Nope. Alan. Nope. That's it. Uh, he's still within range, right? So uh, within melee me. range. Okay, so yep. primal savagery. Mm-hmm. Nineteen to hit, one acid damage. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're just like acid. <laughs> <laughs> Limit oil. It's like yeah. you're rubbing Vicks on his face. Diesel. <laughs> Sorry, bonus action healing word on okay. uh, Tizo. So only Tizo is within range, right? Because um, no, everyone's Tala moved within range. Away. Everyone's within you. range except for Tala. Yeah, Tala moved further away. So uh, Tizo, uh, hold up. Seven uh, HP. What do you say? Oh, I say ooh. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna say sheesh. I'm gonna say ooh. You just said it. You just said it. <laughs> said it. Yay! He said sheesh. <laughs> Cool. Uh, these are 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 just do do barbarian things and hit cool. him with a stick. Cool. Reckless. Uh, seventeen. Seventeen hits. Uh, that the first attack is. Let us see. Let us see. Uh, ten points slashing. Ten points slashing. Quay. Uh, bonus action. Wait. Let me let me put in my two HP heal. Bonus action to do the other end. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, that is a 19. Mm -hmm. Eight points of piercing damage. All right. I actually and misread again, his HP earlier. But now he is like almost gone. You, you see him almost falling down. He's just like out a bit with all the slashes. But as a last, last ditch effort on his turn, tries to attack you a couple of more times. Um, he uses an ability. You see his eyes just focus on you even though you're just there. That is a... Nope. That is a 21. Uh, and that is for... Wait. Plus for 18. Bruh. Less your rage. Mm -hmm. After that, he just lets go of his bow. Um, on Kind of on his knees. And Tyla, your turn. So he's still alive? He's just like 1 HP. <laughs> Barely. You know, just the long bow hands. Oh, we're killing him, okay. <laughs> Alright. Wow, really? You do that now? Wow. <laughs> what, what? Wow. <laughs> she just rolled natural a 20. 20. She natural 20. Total of 28. Yes, that's what she hit, rolled. I mean, just from, from, from afar, like, after your... your T, so you suddenly see, like, an arrow from the back, like, like, goes through the sp the skull and just you see the arrow like that and it's kind oh, of split shit. and he's a false star. <laughs> What's everyone doing? Raid time. I'm gonna light a torch and start throwing it into houses. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go inside the house and pick it clean, see what's valuable, what, what we can take. And on the bodies. Are you going all together? Stuff like that? No? Enjoying Alan. Getting stuff. So we're just everyone's just going together. Are you, wait, do you do you I'm touch the, the houses seat. before checking what's inside? No. Tiso? <laughs> I I think I'm still raging at this point. <laughs> so he immediately like like let's say he immediately tor torches two houses and you guys are just like what the fuck man? To... Calm down, <laughs> fight's over. We need the goods, bro. I am gonna like go over to Tizu and like okay, calm down, touch him and cast your wounds. Cool, heal, heal the whatever. Um, and then like everyone, I, I assume you don't loot the other hut, right? And then, yeah, but you check the others. Um, there are actually some people like the women who hid. Heal. Ah, uh, we just scare them away to run away. You let the women and children run away. Cool. Right, and then you um, there's you you find just like the typical sacks of grains, mm -hmm. you know, a few silver here and there, a gold piece, one or two every now and then in the other three houses, except for like the like the main kind of tribe cheap hut, which I assume you check last or I don't know, but yeah, yeah the other three ha would have those. Um, Can I pocket a few coins and hide it? Like ten silver, yeah. Can I check the bodies of the fallen fighter? No, all their gold would be in their huts. Like, so there's no like you. You find like random weapons here and there. Um, mm -hmm. okay. In the main house, you also just find like you. You find the equivalent of uh, sixteen gold. Sixteen gold. Yep. Uh, it's not. It's, it's a minor raid. You you do have the two the long bows and the long sword that they, they were and um mm. studded leather that the guy you were fighting with and plate from the sword guy. The, the equivalent of plate and tisu, whatever that is. Eighteen AC. Yeah, yeah. It's called bakil. Yep. You find that. And so so yeah. And he goes to the other house. Um, Nardo goes to your house with you. As Nardo sees. The, the check out your wounds just to make sure everything's okay yeah, you're you're fine sees um sees Tala with like the, the tattoos on her on her back which everyone's probably just because she has one in her arm but like the ones in in the back you're just all seeing for the first time um first like to you to you guys it's nothing but but you see Nardos suddenly seeing that and suddenly draw his sword and tries to attack Tala What's everyone doing? Whoa, whoa, what the fuck's happening? Whoa, 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 whoa. Boss, what are you doing? I, can I try to, can I try to, like, get in between them? Um, I'm... He would still have one attack. If... 
Can I mold like... earth and like put him down? <laughs> like maybe down. trip him. Maybe trip him. He'll make his attack with disadvantage. Okay. Let's move the dirt. That is a 17 to hit and a with four slashing. Tala, tala. As he, as he, as she, in, in the back, but he's, she's, he's not trying to damage the back. He's trying to not hit it consciously, is what you notice. Because he could have attacked there. And as that happens, uh, Yanni comes in, um, sees, sees this happen. Makes his attack on Nardo, trying to protect her servant. So he sees uh, Nardo attacking. You see him also just not just confused, not understanding anything, and just shoots uh, Nardo out of impulse and is able to finish him off. Technically unconscious at this point. W- what's everyone doing? Uh, Tala is still alive. And she- still up. Oh, she's still up. Because of the heel? Cool. What the, what the hell just Annie, happened? Yanni's so, also. So, wait, wait, what the fuck is going on? Um, I, Nardo just I up attacked. Nardo and ask him what he's, what's going on because he's the one who attacked. Uh, I guess I look to the senior person. I'm suggesting that to the senior person, uh, Yanni. What, what happened before this happened? Before, before this attack? He just I'm... drew a sword and started and swung at her. I don't what the fuck is wrong was, with this old man? He was Fucker. checking on her wounds. I don't know. I think it's the thing behind you. And uh, Yanni walks towards Tala. And Tala trusts Yanni, so it's fine. Turns her around, look, sees the tattoos, and suddenly gets a knife and then slashes the back of Tala. We're gonna end for now. Can we take a break? What the? What the fuck? What is the tattoo? Okay, sorry, sorry. sorry. <laughs> We're not. <laughs>